What's going on, people? I am back with a <clears throat> an update on my Shadow Systems uh, DR920. <clears throat> I uh, I was able to go to the range this evening and run 206 rounds through this bad boy right here. I do have a loaded mag. There's nothing in the chamber. Matter of fact, I just got a complete bath. I completely disassembled the entire pistol. Um, I use an oil called G96. I've used it for years. It's always worked wonders for me. It wipes carbon right off of the toughest areas of a firearm. So I kind of pretty much dismantle the entire pistol, rifle, whatever it be. Basically spray paint the whole thing with G96 and let it sit, maybe eat some dinner, watch a movie, or sometimes I just get right to work on it. But it's never failed me. It's uh, got everything um, clean to my standards and how I was trained just over 20 years ago. So pretty sure you guys can put two and two together there. Anyway, um, I did. I ran a, a, a uh, I guess it wouldn't be an odd number because it's 206, but... Um, I ran 206 rounds. Um, 10 of those rounds were unsuppressed. So what I did is I zeroed this in. It took me 10 rounds to zero it in to where I wanted it at 10 yards. Um, I don't know if you guys would classify this as a, um, a malfunction or... I don't know. I, I don't, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. Um, <clears throat> in one of the, so I ran, I have a Falcor uh, mag extension here. It ran extremely well. It was, it ran a hundred percent. Um, then ran, a, um, one of the Glock 19 X mags, the 19 rounder, and then the two mag pull mags. So, um, while it was suppressed, I had one mag pull mag not lock all the way back after the last round was fired. I don't see that as a malfunction. Um, I, I don't. I mean, some people might, but I don't. Um, it fed, it cycled everything, it ejected everything. It just didn't lock the slide back on the last round, after the last round, sorry. Um, one other thing that happened, it, I was probably two or three shots in after I put the can on. Um, my slide locked to the rear with rounds still in the magazine. <clears throat> that could have been me, um, my support hand riding up on this extended slide release, slide stop, um, whatever you want to call it. Um, other than that, it ran flawlessly. It is stupid accurate, like boringly accurate, even with it suppressed. So, um, I was shooting at, uh, multiple, uh, distances from seven yards out to 25 yards. And I'm going to play a little video. I'm still learning this whole, uh, let's cut and paste and make these awesome videos. So I'm going to do like I did on my last video that I showed for you guys is I'm going to pull up my cell phone and I'm going to play a quick video clip of me shooting this suppressed. So I did shoot four types of ammo through this while it was suppressed. When I did the zero in process, I used 115 grain Federals, uh, ball ammo. Um, I shot that 180 grain seismic ammo that I showed you in the last video. Um, I shot Hornady uh, critical duties or critical defense. I think that's what they're called. Um, some push ammo, I believe it's by Hornady. And also, oh God, I don't remember the brand. It's a weird grain though. It's like 157 grain. <clears throat> but everything functioned flawlessly. Um, minus the not locking back at the after the last round was fired. Um, and it, I'm pretty sure it was my support hand that bump that the slide release slide stop up where um, my slide locked to the rear while there were still rounds in the magazine. Um, I am 100% satisfied with this. Should I, have, should I have ran the first couple hundred rounds suppressed? I don't think it really matters. Um, I know that there was a ton of blowback though, depending on the round that I was firing. 
I found more blowback from the 115 grain Federals than I did with the 180 grain, the 158 grain, and whatever the critical duties or critical defenses were. Um, this thing got stupid fucking dirty, like really dirty. So this thing is cleaner. It's the cleanest it's ever been. Um, I think firearms that uh, are brand new firearms, uh, they are filthy dirty. So I always clean and lube guns before I shoot them. Um, there might have been one or two times where I haven't done that. I was just so excited. I wanted, I wanted to run out and shoot a gun, but maybe I dropped a couple of oil, drops of oil in there. But anyway, um, I'm going to play a video for you guys real quick. Um, I was very impressed with how the recoil was. So this is shooting, I think it's five rounds of that 180 grain seismic ammo. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is it is expensive. It's about $33 for a pack of 20 rounds, but it is so quiet. Um, the recoil is extremely manageable. So I'm shooting it one handed. You'll see, cause I've, you know, I have my, uh, iPhone in my other hand while I'm trying to record this. So I'm going to go ahead and play this for you. So there you have it. Um, I understand that this is not doing anything justice. Uh, playing this video off my cell phone so you can hear it. Trust me, it was, it was so quiet. Um, the, the other shot that you heard uh, to the shooter to the right of me was actually shooting a 22 with his uh, um, very young daughter he was training to shoot. So that wasn't a 9 or a 40 or 45 gunshot that you heard. That was a 22. So... Um, kind of compare those two. I know it's probably a little difficult over these uh, these Apple microphones. You know, it's nothing high end. It's an iPod and an, and an iPhone. So um, iPad, sorry. And uh, but anyway, I was very impressed with it. <clears throat> so I've had this, you know, just over 24 hours now. Um, I've probably dry fired this thing a couple thousand times. Now there is something that um, I. Hope is not going to be a concern. Um, I know some of you had, had commented that you you run this or you shot this or you own them. So after the 206 rounds that I ran today, um, I have pins working their way out of the gun right now. So first and foremost is that big pin right there. It worked its way out somehow. Um, little concerned about that the next pin that started working its way out was this guy this is all from shooting it right it's not i wasn't pushing anything um how, how i found out about this one is it kind of started jabbing me in the palm of my hand every time i would grab the gun after reloading or loading up some mags and i'm like what the fuck is going on and sure enough the pin is starting to walk out so it is Thursday, March 10th. I'm probably going to go back and run another couple hundred rounds this weekend. I'm going to try to anyway. Um, I, I uh, started another project that I shouldn't have. Um, I got another LWRC pistol, um, but in a 300 blackout. Um, I was at my local academy store last night and I bought the last four boxes of their subsonic ammo. Um, and I bought two more boxes of the Hornady Black, uh, 208 grain subsonic ammo. And that shit is expensive. But anyway, um, I am not cool with those pins walking out. I've never seen that or experienced that before on a polymer gun or any gun at that. Not even a 1911 not that there's pins to walk out on a 1911. Well, actually there is, but I've never experienced that. And I have probably 30 to 35,000 rounds through one 1911 that I've owned for many years. I've had to do a pin upgrade because over time with all that recoil and the shooting, those pins start boring out the location of the house that they sit in. 
So there's a pin upgrade kit that eventually you'll have to do. If you ever run a 1911 and you start getting into that high thousand count round, uh, uh, high thousand round count, sorry. Say that 10 times real quick. So, but I've never had a polymer gun start walking out, pins walking out on me. So I'm gonna run another couple hundred rounds through it. I don't think it has anything to do with the break end. I, uh, something's, the tolerances aren't correct on this. So um, pins should not just start walking out of a gun. But anyway, um, I, I don't think it has anything to do with its function uh, functionality. Um, I, I've now deemed this carry ready, uh, nightstand ready, car gun ready, truck gun ready, uh, whatever, whatever you want to do. It, it's going to run. It, it's running. It ran the four mags, ran four different types of ammo, um, did very well suppressed, stupid accurate suppressed. Um, I am happy with it. So I'm going to keep an eye on those pins. Um, I'm going to run some more rounds through it, continue to run through it. And if I continue to have problems, obviously I'm probably gonna have to reach out to Shadow Systems and say, "Hey, your your pins are walking out on me. Uh, what do you recommend? What 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 is the next steps here?" So, anyway, guys, uh, we're just over 11 minutes. I wanted to do a quick update. I never intend for these to go this long. I appreciate you uh, liking uh, my videos. Uh, I am not sponsored by anybody, nor do I want to be. I I want to pay and buy my own stuff and do my own unbiased reviews and feedback. Not that other folks don't, but um, I'm not looking for um, all these subscribers and stuff to support me in any way. I just, I like to give uh, updates and reviews in the event there's folks out there like you that maybe are looking at a, a system like this or any other gun that I've done a review or show and tell on. Um, I plan on doing a whole ton of shooting uh, this summer with ammo coming back in stock full swing, even though it's really fucking expensive. Um, but it's better than meth. So anyway, guys, I will talk to y'all soon. Take care.